Hey, what's going on? Uh, this is Taco. I got some free for all on Asylum World at War. Um, this is going to be a total tip strategy how to go flawless in free for all because I'm clearly the best player on YouTube and I know what the hell I'm doing. Not really. Uh, no, I'm not going to go flawless. I'm incapable of going flawless uh, in any game type for some reason. Uh, I have no idea why, but usually I die at least once or twice. And it's never my fault, but uh, yeah, I have these Bouncing Bettys, and I don't know what it is about Bouncing Bettys, but I love them so much more than Claymores. Every time I have them, I die or whatever, I just have to put them down because I like the way they look. They look cool, and when you blow somebody up, it sounds really cool, and their legs like fly off and shit, and I love that. But um, yeah, so I'm using the Thompson. Uh, my favorite gun in this game in World at War is definitely the Thompson. A lot of people are always like, oh, the MP40, it's the best gun, it's it's overpowered, and everybody uses it, and I, to me, like, it, it's, it's really good, but I just can't deal with the recoil. To me, it's, like, unpredictable which way it's going to go. With the Thompson, I always know it's going to kick up and maybe to the left or right, I don't know, but it's, it's predictable, and it just looks right in my hand. I, I slap the uh, round drum on it, and I'm good to go. Uh, I'm using steady aim only because you have to be level 52 to unlock dead silence which to me is just a bunch of bullshit I can't stand it and uh, everybody in this game I think these guys all got together before the game started and decided to use Marty Dom they're like hey uh, you know I think that the uh, the perk of the day is gonna be Marty Dom that way we could fuck over taco trying to get a good gameplay and uh, yeah that grenade the Marty Dom killed me through the wall uh, also juggernaut is really popular today so, or when I was playing this game. But see, with the Bouncing Bettys, I just got to put them down. And uh, this is one of those lobbies where there might have been one other good player in here and the rest were just kind of handicapped, you know. So, it's not like I just totally beasted on good players, which, you know. But you, you got to find those kind of lobbies when you're playing free-for-all. My, my best free-for-all tip for anybody, and this goes for any Call of Duty, is just, you know, mess around with the lobbies until you could find one where your connection's decent and you're playing against crappy players. I mean, honestly, that's that's the best way to go. And uh, the reason why I play free-for-all over team games is because I don't ever play with a full party. I like free-for-all. It's my favorite game mode. And uh, I tend to do pretty well in it. And it's it's one of the easier game modes. So, But, uh, yeah, I get another art artillery strike here. Uh, one thing about World at War that I dislike is the artillery strike. To me, it's just retarded. I, it, I, I mean, I may get lucky once in a while and kill somebody with it, but, you know, I, I much prefer the uh, airstrike over that uh, artillery crap. And this guy tries to hide behind the truck, and I bust his ass. So I get another set of dogs, and I love the dogs. Who doesn't love dogs? World at War Free for All is great. Uh, sound in this game is just, I mean, absolutely perfect. To me, it's, it's probably one of the best sounds out of all the Call of Duties. This and Call of Duty 4 just had the clearest sound for uh, your environment and uh, everybody walking around you. You could hear everything. I, I love that. And um, the way the game looks, you know, I hated this game when it came out. I just could not stand it. I'm like, it looks dark. It looks terrible. The guns recoil like crazy. I can't stand it. And I get fucked by this guy who spawns behind me. Uh, that's a bunch of crap. But now I love this game. It's great. It's fun. I mean, if you can find a lobby that's not totally hacked, um, you know, just I recommend trying this game. It's a great game. You know, I never gave it a full chance when it uh, when it first came out, and now I'm, I'm loving it. It's it's great. So I'm getting pretty close to the end here, and I uh, play a little bit of peekaboo with this asshole and I take him out. Oh, Marty Dom, Jesus, get away from me! Whoa, I got lucky. See, you got that's this acquired skill when you're playing this game is how to avoid the Marty Dom. Uh, it's like hot potato with the grenades being shit out of people's ass. So. If you can acquire that skill, that's that's another tip that's uh, crucial. See, there's another one. Uh, World at War, though, it's it's a great game. The perks, you know, a little weird the way they place it with the uh, the bounce of Betty's. kind of like the Claymores from Call of Duty 4, where they put it in the number one tier slot, you know. But yeah, that's it's fine. It works good, you know. And uh, I don't know where these guys are going. Let's see. We got one guy left. Where's he doing? Going behind the truck. You got Jug. Okay. What's he gonna do? Throw. Go left. Go right. Oh, dodge the grenade and. That's what's up. I got my third set of dogs on the last guy I killed, but uh, just another quick free for all on World at War. Um, final scores: thirty kills, four deaths, something like that. And uh, I'm out of you guys. Have a good day. Go play some World at War or some old Call of Duty. But uh, yeah.